All righty, we're going to go ahead and get started. It is just past 430. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Global Primaries Enrollment Event. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're excited to tell you all about why we think Global Primary is such an amazing place to be. My name is Laura Nelson. I am the school director here at Global Primary. Um, and before we get started, we will do each slide in English, and then we will have it translated in Spanish as well. At any time during the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to put those in the chat. And when we get to the end during our um, Q&A session, we'll go hopefully answer all of those questions for you. Um, Ms. Schwab is going to be monitoring that chat. So if something comes up in the middle that we can address, we will also do that. All right, so I'm going to let Ms. Jessica translate that part and then we'll do some introductions. Hola, buenas noches, bienvenidos y gracias por asistir a nuestro evento de inscripciones para Global Primary. Estamos muy emocionados de hablarles sobre nuestra escuela y contestar preguntas que puedan tener. Soy la señora Laura Nelson um, y voy a estar aquí traduciéndolos el día de hoy. Mi nombre es Jessica. All right, like I said, hello, my name is Laura Nelson. I'm the school director at Global Primary. I have been in Mapleton Public Schools for 19 years. Uh, this is my second year at Global Primary. Um, it is an amazing place to be. It felt like home right from the beginning. And I have two people here today that are going to be helping me out. We have Bree Schwab, who is our instructional guide and IB coordinator, and she's going to talk to you a lot more about our International Baccalaureate program. Ms. Schwab has been at Global for 10 years. And then Jessica Rodriguez is our school secretary, and she has been in Mapleton for five years, although she's also a Mapleton grad um, and has three children that attend either GPA or GIA. Um, de nuevo, soy la señora Laura Nelson. Habrá dos personas que eh, me estarán ayudando el día de hoy. Um, yo he estado en el distrito de Mapleton por 19 años y este es mi tercer año en Global Primary. Me he sentido como en casa estando aquí. Um, de estar a Bree Schwab es nuestra coordinadora de bachillerato e instructora de guía. Ella ha estado en Global por 10 años. Um, Jessica Rodríguez nos estará traduciendo el día de hoy. Ella es la secretaria de nuestra escuela y ha sido parte de la familia de Globo por cinco años. Um, uh, ella se graduó del distrito de Mapleton y tiene tres hijos que asisten para Globo Primary y Globo Intermediante. Thank you so much, Jessica. So just a little bit of an overview of what we'll go through this evening. Um, we did some introductions already. We're going to go through Global's mission statement, um, give you an overview of our new International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program. That's a mouthful. Um, we'll give you a little bit of a tour, show you some pictures of our building, talk about our community, what makes us special, and then what a day in the life of the GPA student looks like. Ok, vamos a pasar información sobre nuestra escuela y programas. A cualquier hora durante la presentación, si tiene alguna pregunta, puede ponerlo en la ventanilla del chat. Vamos a tomar un tiempo al final de la presentación para contestar las preguntas. Van a estar viendo fotografías también de, um, de nuestro edificio. figuring out all this technology. So first, we're going to talk a little bit about our mission statement. And really, you're going to hear the themes from this mission statement and everything we talked to you about tonight. Um, it really does guide everything we do at GPA. So one of the first things you'll notice about our mission statement is it talks about a nurturing, courageous environment. We have the littlest ones in the whole district in our building. And our first job is to make sure they feel safe and cared for so we can help build the skills that they need for future school. Um, we also want to make sure we build their confidence and their skills so they're ready um, when they move on to the next school. You're going to also see the word interdisciplinary a lot. Interdisciplinary just really means when our kids are learning about something, they're reading about it, they're writing about it, they're exploring, they're doing hands-on activities. So really that content comes to life through all of the content that they learn. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to see the word inquiry a lot. And Ms. Schwab's going to talk to you about inquiry and what that means for our little learners. You also see the word community, and you'll hear the word community a lot. I would say the biggest part 
that makes global special is the sense of community and family that we have. And then the last part of our mission statement really talks about understanding others' perspectives. And that's a big part of our IB program is really getting kids to think outside of themselves and think about how other people might think differently or do things differently and learn about others. All right, Jessica. Ok, el día de hoy van a ver temas a través de nuestra presentación que están presentes en nuestra misión, en nuestra escuela, como nutrir, ya que tenemos a nuestros más pequeñitos aprendices um, para desarrollar sus habilidades, en tener su confianza um, para un lugar seguro, en un lugar seguro. Um, van a ver mucho la palabra de interdisciplina que va a ser para aprender um, contento sobre la lectura, la escritura e investigaciones. Um, otra cosa que van a estar viendo es como la comunidad de Globo. Um, es una gran parte de nuestra comunidad um, en el distrito aquí de nosotros, porque Globo, como saben, um, tenemos como una academia en la cual tenemos las tres escuelas que vienen siendo de desde los más pequeñitos hasta el grado 12. Um, entender las perspectivas también de otras personas, enseñarles desde chiquitos que um, tienen también que aprender las perspectivas de los demás. There we go. Thank you so much. And just an overview of the school itself. <clears throat> like we have said a few times, we serve Mapleton's youngest students. Um, we have one classroom with one-year-old toddlers. We have another classroom with two-year-old toddlers. And then we have three full-day preschool classrooms in our building right now. Um, we also have two sections of each grade. So kinder, first, second, and third grade, we have two classes per grade level. We also have an inclusive learning community here at GPA, and what that means is we have students with a wide range of abilities and disabilities that are included in our classrooms, um, which really help build empathy and a strong sense of community in our school. We also have a school-based therapist through Community Reach that is on site here on the campus um, that is able to see students right here. We have a school social worker who also supports with social emotional learning, does some small groups, and is able to support kids here in the building. We also have a reading interventionist who helps our teachers look at data, really um, customize instruction for them, and also provide some interventions for those students that are falling behind or have any gaps. And then lastly, our students get to have four different specials. Um, a big part of IB is being well-rounded. So our students get to have art, music, PE, and Spanish. Um, and when we talk about our specials in a little bit later in the presentation, I'll talk a little bit more about that. Okay, um, nuestras clases. Nuestras clases incluyen um, a niños desde eh, su primer añito y sus dos años. Tenemos tres clases de día completo para preescolar y dos clases para cada nivel de kinder hasta tercer grado. La comunidad de aprendizaje inclusivo, que son estudiantes con una amplia gama de habilidades incluidas en nuestras clases. Um, tenemos nuestra terapista escolar que viene um, del alcance comunitario. Um, tenemos nuestra trabajadora so social, la cual um, trabaja con nuestros estudiantes cuando tienen necesidades aquí durante la escuela. Tenemos nuestra intervencionista de la lectura, la cual ella ayuda también a los estudiantes con ayuda extra cuando ellos tienen necesidades en lectura. Tenemos cuatro clases especiales que incluyen arte, tienen uh, música, educación física y su clase de español. Um, también contamos con grupos durante el día, lo cual las maestras trabajan con estudiantes um, en grupos más pequeños, um, de, que es mucho mejor que en veces ayudar a los estudiantes cuando están en una clase de... 30 estudiantes. Um, ellos les dan el apoyo que necesitan cuando necesitan más ayuda. Tenemos las esquinas de calma que las clases, con las cuales las clases cuentan con accesorios, um, sillas especiales, um, con las cuales los estudiantes pueden usar cuando están ellos estresados o tienen algún, alguna cosa que nada más ellos necesitan un tiempo para estar solos.
And that cute little one you see in the picture is Miss Jessica's son. So just brag on him a little bit. Alrighty, so just a quick tour. We also hope to have um, a live video of the school up by next week, but just some areas in our school that make it special. So this first picture, you can see um, each pod area. So we have a K-1 pod, a preschool pod, and a 2-3 pod has a little area for those students to do things. Um, so you can see here's our K-1 pod, and there's a little stage there, and student artwork is displayed. Um, it's just a great little gathering area. Teachers are also able to pull small groups in area there's some tables and things to the side uh, the second picture you see is our tree house so this building is really designed to really capture students imagination and feel like nature so our library you can see is below and then it goes up into a tree and that's our little tree house and there are um, there are little spaces up in the tree house where students can learn and work with uh, teachers and small groups uh, it's a really cool, exciting place. Kids get really excited to be in the treehouse. And then the third picture you see there is a kindergarten classroom. Um, and you can see there's spaces to gather on the rug. There's resources all over the wall to help support reading instruction. Um, and just kind of gives you a snapshot of what one of our classrooms looks like. Ok, como pueden ver, en esta parte este, están viendo las, unas cuantas fotografías de lo que viene siendo dentro de nuestro edificio. La primera foto, como pueden ver, es el, um, parte de nuestro escenario con el cual nuestra escuela cuenta. Y eso es desde el grado kinder a primero. Um, en la parte de kinder a primer grado, este, como pueden ver, ahí ponen cosas de arte de los niños. Hacen grupos, los maestros con los estudiantes. En la segunda pueden ver que está eh, la librería, lo cual cuenta con una casita del árbol. Um, y han sido diseñados especialmente para los niños pequeños que tenemos. Um, en la tercera ven la clase de kinder. Um, así es como ellos forman sus grupos este, para leer, para a uh, muchas veces tener sus juntas con los niños, este, um, pues sí, esperemos este la semana que entra poder contar con un video con la el tour de la escuela. Alrighty, just a couple more pictures for you showing a second grade classroom so you can just kind of see the difference between a kindergarten classroom and a second grade classroom. Our cafeteria, which um, you can see the treehouse in the background, they connect, it's all one big open space. The next picture is our music room, um, which is an awesome big space where kids can do performances. It opens up into the next picture, which is our gym. So we can do performances on the stage in that area as well. Ok, como pueden ver en estas fotografías se alcanza a ver una clase de segundo grado. Um, y pueden ver la diferencia de lo que cuenta una clase de segundo grado a la clase de los más pequeñitos de kinder, que cuentan con un tapete donde juntan a los niños, entonces hacen más actividades ahí. Lo cual la clase más grande, pues ya están ellos en un escritorio con sus sillas. Um, en la segunda fotografía pueden ver que hay un espacio amplio que viene siendo nuestra cafetería. La tercera viene siendo nuestra clase de uh, música. Y en la cuarta viene siendo nuestro gimnasio. All right, I'm going to pass it over to Ms. Schwab, who is going to talk to you about our International Baccalaureate program. I think it's going. Hello, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello, I'm Mrs. Schwab. I'm the PYP coordinator and instructional guide at Global Primary Academy. Just want to give you a little bit of information about our IB program. We at Global were authorized as a PYP primary years program IB World School in the summer of 2019. The PYP is an approach to education that challenges each learner to become an internationally minded person. The PYP focuses on the growth of the developing child by offering an international inquiry based curriculum that spans across all of the content or subjects in the school. All students receive weekly second language instruction in Spanish. 
students practice how to ask a variety of questions every day to thoroughly explore their learning. Students are taught to be active inquirers in their own learning. At GPA, students continue learning about the world through IB as they tr transition to GIA at fourth grade, which is the intermediate school on our campus. Ok, nuestra coordinadora de bachillerato um, nos ha explicado que Global Primary fue autorizado como un colegio del mundo de um, para el programa de la escuela del vera, en el verano del 2019 para estar incluido como bachillerato. El PEP es un enfoque educativo que desafía a cada alumno a convertirse en una persona con mentalidad internacional. El PEP se enfoca en el crecimiento del niño en desarrollo al ofrecer un plan de estudios internacional basado en la indagación que abarca todas las materias del colegio. Todos los estudiantes reciben instrucción semanal en un segundo idioma, en español. Los estudiantes practican cómo hacer una variedad de preguntas todos los días para explorar a fondo el aprendizaje. Um, se enseña a los estudiantes a ser indagadores activos en su propio aprendizaje. Los estudiantes de Global Primary continúan aprendiendo sobre el mundo a través de bachillerato mientras hacen la tra transición para Global Intermediante en el grado cuarto, la escuela intermedia en el campus. So PYP schools focus on developing the whole child. Students learn how to think about impacting the world around them so they can thrive in a global society. Student ownership, and that's called agency in the PYP, um, when students take ownership of their learning, it's very important at GPA because we believe that students should have a choice when learning broad concepts. PYP classrooms are concept based. At GPA, we believe that the students who have a choice and agency in the classroom become lifelong learners. Los colegios del PEP se centran en el desarrollo integral del niño. Los estudiantes aprenden a pensar sobre cómo impactar el, el mundo que lo rodea para poder prosperar en una sociedad global. La propiedad del estudiante de su aprendizaje es importante en Global Primary, Sociedad glo Global, uh, porque creemos que los estudiantes deben tener opciones cuando aprenden conceptos amplios. Las aulas del PEP se basan en conceptos. En Global Primary creemos que los estudiantes tienen opciones y agencia en el salón de clases que se convierten en aprendices de por vida. A GPA, an internationally minded person, is someone who demonstrates the attributes of the learner profile, which you can see right here on the screen. These are qualities determined to be the most important in creating positive and productive citizens of the world. This means that our students are taught why they should know something and how it connects to other subjects and the real world. We believe real learning always involves taking action and learners are given skills to use their own process of learning. En Global Primary, una persona con mentalidad internacional es alguien que demuestra los atributos del perfil de aprendizaje. Estas son las cualidades determinadas a ser más importantes en la creación de los ciudadanos positivos y productivos del mundo. Esto significa que a nuestros estudiantes se les enseña por qué deben saber algo y cómo se conecta con otras materias y el mundo real. Creemos que el aprendizaje real siempre implica tomar acción. A los estudiantes se les dan habilidades para usar su propio proceso de aprendizaje. So with the PYP program, students are taught concept based curriculum instead of skills or topics. This is an approach to curriculum design that moves away from subject specific content content and emphasizes big ideas that can span multiple subject areas or disciplines. For example, a student may be studying the idea of change in a variety of areas from patterns in math to civilizations and social studies and to life cycles in science. It spans through all curriculum. El plan de estudios basados en concepto es un enfoque para el diseño del plan de estudios que se aleja 
del contenido específico de la materia y en cambio enfatiza las grandes ideas que abarcan múltiples áreas temáticas o disciplinas. Por ejemplo, los estudiantes pueden estudiar la gran idea de cambio en una variedad de áreas, desde patrones en matemáticas hasta civilizaciones en estudios sociales y ciclos de la vida en ciencias. Inquiry-based learning is an approach to learning that emphasizes the student's role in the learning process. Rather than the teacher telling the students what they need to know, students are encouraged to explore the material, ask questions, and share their own ideas. Instead of memorizing facts and materials, students are learning by doing. This allows them to build knowledge through exploration, experience, and discussion. As humans, we retain 75% of what we do compared to 5% of what we hear or 10% of what we read. Inquiry-based learning allows students to, do, to better understand and recall material by actively engaging with it and making their own connections. El aprendizaje basado en la indigación es un enfoque de aprendizaje que ha, enfatiza el papel del estudiante en el proceso de aprendizaje. En lugar de que el maestro les diga a los estudiantes lo que necesitan saber, se anima a los estudiantes a explorar el material, a hacer preguntas y compartir ideas. En lugar de memorizar hechos y material, los estudiantes aprenden haciendo. Esto les permite construir conocimiento a través de la exploración, la experiencia y la discusión. Retenemos el 75% de lo que hacemos frente al 5% de lo que oímos y el 10% de lo que leemos. El aprendizaje basado en la indigación permite a los estudiantes comprender y recordar mejor el material al interactuar activamente con él y hacer sus propias conexiones. Thank you, Jessica. You're on mute. That muted. Gets me every time. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Jessica. Um, so just a couple more things. What makes us unique at GPA? Um, and because we've mentioned lots of times that we are working with students in from toddlers to only third grade, we can really focus on students' developmental needs. We know students in these younger grades really need social emotional learning just as much as they need academic skills. And really, really those social emotional skills are what help them lead to academic success. So to do that, we do a lot of things to support our students with social emotional learning. We have an incredible years program, which we use in preschool and kindergarten, which has dinosaurs and puppets that the teachers use to role play different situations and help teach the kids um, appropriate social behavior and how to manage feelings and all of those important things when you're a little kid. Um, we also use the second step curriculum, which does very similar, but it's for, older, for our older students, first through third grade. Then we also have Olveus, which is a bully proofing program, which we've used this year to do a bully proofing kickoff to talk to kids about bully proofing rules, how to prevent bullying, how to help somebody if they see somebody being bullied. We also teach regulation strategies. We know, especially in our world right now, everybody has big feelings and things to handle. So we teach the kids about their emotions and how they can calm themselves down when they get upset or sad or mad and we also have every classroom teacher has a calm down corner in it for students to use and they they are taught how to use that calm down corner how to get themselves calm and regulated and back to the classroom um, also Ms. Schwab talked about inquiry-based learning inquiry-based learning is a big part of our IB program and really lets students explore Um, another thing is all of our teachers here at Global Primary are highly trained in early literacy and how to best teach early literacy to our students. Ok, y en este siguiente tema estamos hablando de qué nos hace únicos. Atender a los estudiantes desde niños pequeños hasta tercer grado nos permite centrarnos en las necesidades del desarrollo, el, apre el aprendizaje socioemocional para sus años increíbles, estrategias de regularización, alfabetización temprana 
lo cual todos nos, nuestros maestros están altamente capacitados en la alfabetización temprana. Um, los maestros de nuestros grados más pequeños de prekinder y kinder cuentan con marionetas y dinosaurios con los cuales ellos trabajan y utilizan para enseñar a nuestros niños más pequeños a cómo controlar situaciones diferentes. Um, hacemos proyectos con los estudiantes sobre el bullying para evitar el bullying en nuestra escuela. Um, sus emociones, tratamos de tener áreas, como hablé en, el, en, en, el otro, um, en el otro página, de cuál tienen las clases, sus áreas especiales, donde los trabajan con los estudiantes cuando ellos tienen una situación difícil que no quieren estar en clase, les, um, las maestros les permiten estar en esa área para que se calmen, se tranquilicen y ellos estén listos para regresar a clases. Maybe just see some of our kiddos there for the 100th day of school, dressed up like they're 100, and some of the projects they did to explore the number 100. Let me move on to our next slide. Alrighty, we're running a little short on time, so I'm going to go through this pretty quickly, but just a day in the life of a student at GPA. We've talked about a lot of this, um, but our students come in every morning and have the opportunity to have free breakfast. Um, preschool serves it in their classrooms. Our K3 can grab it as they come in and sit and eat before they head to class. Every classroom starts with a morning meeting. So just like we talked about all those social emotional and bully proofing strategies, that first morning meeting is where we do that. It gives students a chance to kind of calm and feel welcomed and start their day really positive. Um, every student will have a literacy block that is dedicated to foundational reading skills. Um, they also will receive every grade level has a block for personalized instruction. So we use students data and we either give them an intervention if they need it or we provide them enrichment if they're ahead to keep pushing them forward. Um, all of our standards, as Ms. Schwab was talked about, are taught through our IB units, interdisciplinary, based on inquiry. We use Bridges Math for our math um, for students, and that's district-wide. Again, our students get to experience four specials, art, music, PE, and Spanish. We do have a lot of native Spanish speakers, so Spanish is a great time for those students to be leaders and support our other students. Um, while our English speakers get a foundation and exposure to the Spanish language, and they can continue that through GIA and GLA. So that's exciting news as well. They go to library usually once a week and check out books and explore the library and um, recess and lunch. We still think it's really important. Our little ones learn so much from interacting and planning outside. So all of our students go outside at least um, most ones, most I messed up there a little bit. Everybody goes out at least twice a day for a recess and break. And I think that's it. Sorry, Jessica, going kind of fast. Okay, para esta siguiente página les vamos a hablar de cómo es un día para nuestros estudiantes en Global Primary. Um, todos los estudiantes um, empiezan por el almuerzo, que viene siendo gratis para todos los estudiantes. En cuanto llegan a clase, tienen su junta por la mañana para el aprendizaje social y emocional del cual hablábamos en la página anterior, de cómo es importante su um, aprendizaje social, tanto emocional. Um, tenemos la, después la literatura, que es instrucción fundamental para las habilidades explícitas de los estudiantes, siguiendo por la instrucción personalizada basada en las necesidades de, las, de los estudiantes. Tenemos estrategias enseñadas por el bachillerato con Ms. Schwab. Ella viene siendo la, la coordinadora del bachillerato um, y en las unidades de indagación. Después contan con matemáticas nuestros estudiantes y el distrito en sí. Todos cuentan con esa clase. Um, tenemos las clases especiales que las cual, como les dije, cuentan con arte, cuentan con música educación física y español, que um, el español aquí por todo el distrito hay mucha gente que habla español y es bien fundamental para nuestros estudiantes, para tanto como los que hablan español y los que no. Y la clase de español se les da hasta cuando están en la GIA, que viene siendo Global Intermediante y Global Leadership. Um, también cuentan con un día a la semana para ir a la librería y la hora de su lonche y recreo. 
All right, and you can see Mr. Duran there showing the kids how to move their mouth when they make that sound when that's part of learning to read. All right, let's move to our last slide before we have some questions. So just like I said at the beginning of our presentation, the community at Global is really what makes us special. Um, our campus has a lot of resources on it. We're very fortunate. Um, the Mapleton Arts Center is right outside my window. Our kids got to do their winter performance in there and use the stage. Um, it's gorgeous and beautiful. We have playgrounds for our elementary students, um, separate playground for our toddlers and our preschool students. We also have access to the playground over at GIA. We have a library. There is a resource uh, library at GIA with some more difficult, challenging books for our kids. There is the big soccer field on our campus. So our students have access to so many things being on this campus. And it really does feel like a neighborhood school. Our families, a lot of them walk to our school. Um, we have siblings dropping off, the older siblings dropping off their little ones. And really it feels like a family. Um, the community, like we said, is very strong. If students choose to come to GPA, they can continue on at GIA for fourth through eighth grade and then GLA for high school. So it really is a very consistent uh, education. And we have lots of events on the campus, which are super fun. With COVID, we haven't been able to do as much as we would like, but we still um, were able to have a trunk or treat event. Our kids participated in a cheerleading camp hosted by GIA. There's Lego Club and some just different opportunities for them to get involved. Um, we love for our parents to be involved. We have a very strong parent community. Again, with COVID, they have not been able to do as much as we would like in the buildings, um, but we're starting to build that up and get them back in our schools, planning events and helping our kids. Ok, en nuestra siguiente hablamos de cómo Globo es una comunidad para todos. Los recursos en nuestro campo tenemos como el Centro de Artes de Mapleton, que viene siendo donde tenemos nuestros conciertos y todos han tenido ya la oportunidad de verlo por lo menos por fuera, ya que con todo lo que ha pasado de COVID, pues no hemos tenido la oportunidad de que todavía entren para adentro, pero tenemos um, ese centro uh, um, el día de hoy que, que es para todo el distrito. Tenemos los patios de juegos para preescolar y la primaria. Tenemos con um, librerías que cuentan cada una de nuestras escuelas. Tenemos nuestro gimnasio y aparte tenemos el campo de fútbol con el cual los niños de nuestro campo cuentan. Uh, tenemos nuestra comunidad fuerte del, del kinder al grado 12. Eso vendría siendo nuestra escuela Global Primary. Tenemos la Global Intermediante y Global Leadership. So, aquí pueden los niños estar desde pre-kinder hasta que ellos salen graduados de aquí. Eventos, tenemos, contamos con varios eventos como el Trunk and Tree para Halloween. Contamos con nuestras porristas. Um, este es nuestro club de bloques de Lego. Um, aparte, tenemos nuestros compañeros en la educación, con los cuales también contamos. También tenemos nuestro pa nuestros padres en acción, los cuales no han podido estar para con nosotros para planear eventos con los cuales contábamos en tiempo atrás. Um, pero esperemos que nuestra situación se mejore con, con la pandemia para que puedo, puedan ellas regresar y empecemos a contar de nuevo con todos los eventos que nos ayudan a organizar nuestro, nuestros padres en acción. Alrighty, so um, we have some time for questions. I didn't see any pop up. I did realize that one of our slides somehow didn't come through. Um, with our start and end times, we start at 8.05 in the morning. We open for breakfast at 7.40 and we dismiss at 3.20 in the afternoon. Our preschool and toddlers do have an option for before and after care. Um, right now, we don't have that for our kindergarten through third grade students. There is always a YMCA option in Mapleton. We do not know where that will be for next year. Also, we are applying for a 21st century grant for next year, which will provide our students with after school programs um, and some options to keep them busy and doing fun things after school. So those are things that were not included in our presentation. Um, if you have any other questions or things come up, please contact the school. Go to my next slide. Um, all of my contact information is on here, the main office, our website. 
our website just has updated pictures, information about the school, the school times. Um, if you want to know anything else, please feel free to email or call us at any time and we are happy to help. Ok, como saben, este, al parecer estaba faltando una página de la cual había agregado la directora, um, pero como ustedes saben, la hora de entrada es, las clases en, empiezan a las 8 o 5 de la mañana, pero nuestros estudiantes pueden empezar a entrar a la cafetería desde las 7.45 para que ellos desayunen. Nuestra hora de salida es a las 3.15. Um, no contamos con un, un, un algún um, programa para antes o después de escuela. Sabemos que está el programa de la YMCA, pero nosotros no somos parte de eso. O so tendrían que hablar a la escuela que pertenece para ese programa. Um, para los tenemos también los de preescolar que vienen antes y los días que no que son pagados por los padres prácticamente um, y aparte también el programa de los bebés que están aquí desde un año y dos años pero esa también es información aparte que si tienen cualquier pregunta aquí está la información de en nuestro número de teléfono y la dirección de nosotros si gustan hablarnos o venir directamente a nuestro edificio para contestar cualquier pregunta que tengan Okay, well, thank you so much. I want to thank Ms. Schwab and Ms. Jessica for helping make this happen. Um, and if you have any questions, like we said, please reach out to us. Thank you so much for your time this evening.